You know, there's a mistake that a lot of content creators make. And it is a, it's something that you've heard so many times. And it's all about who are the asses in the seats of your audience. If you don't know who's sitting in those seats, it's very hard to make, to make content that actually lands with someone. So I, today, I really want you to think about this situation I'm going to put you in. I want you to imagine that you have been paid, I don't know, like $12,000 to be a speaker. And the people that you're speaking to are feminine CEOs. These are women who have climbed up the ranks. They have dealt with misogyny. They have dealt with sexism. They have dealt with racism. They have dealt with all kinds of things. And they want to hear from you. They are on the edge of burnout, right? That's who you come to the stage, the stage ready to speak to. You're ready with your offer. You're going to pitch them from the stage. I mean, they're paying you $10,000 to speak. So you're like, I can pitch my $25,000 mastermind to these women. No problem because they, I get their problem. They need my solution and they've got the money to pay for it, right? Now imagine you're up on the stage ready to talk to these women about burnout and stress and having to figure it all out while running a family and maybe a household too. You're ready to talk to these women. But the people who are sitting in the audience are not the feminine CEOs that you were waiting for. These women in your seats are actually elementary school teachers, they're kindergarten teachers, they're nursery school teachers. Now they're all dealing with the same problem as the feminine CEOs. They're dealing with exhaustion and overwork and burnout. They're on the edge and they are just so depleted. Both groups of women are dealing with the same problem. But if you don't have the right butts in the seats when you're speaking to your audience, it's not going to land with them. The solution that you would have to help feminine CEOs deal with their burnout is very different than a solution that, say, an elementary school teacher would need to deal with her burnout and her problems. I really want you to think about who are the asses in the seats when you are speaking. And are you thinking about that person when you're generating your content? I'm going to give you an example. Today I was recording my podcast for the next week and I was thinking about somebody that I know listens to my podcast, but she's not an entrepreneur. And I started to get into my head about, oh no, how can I make this podcast more relatable to her? She told me, she's like, I flat out enjoy your podcast. I'm not an entrepreneur, but I really love it. Um, but I got into my head when I was thinking about, oh, maybe I need to tweak this a little bit so that it lands with her. But she's not my ideal client. She's not going to convert from being an audience member to um, being a customer or a client. And I really need you to think about this example when you think about the content that you're putting out there. Who is the audience that you want to speak to? So the mistake that many content creators make is, well, I talk to women about, and then they say this huge problem or this huge pain point. Talking about pain points is super important. I want you to talk about pain points in your content, but are you narrowing it down to exactly the type of person that needs your exact solution at your exact price point in the way that you can deliver it with your expertise? Because if you're trying to spray it so that everybody can benefit from it, you are going to be on the treadmill of content. You're going to be exhausted all the time. So just the, the first thing I want you to think about when creating content in January 2021 is who are the butts in the seats that I am talking to? Get really specific about it. Imagine those people, those exact people, when you are developing your content, writing your content, even saying your content to the world. Like right now, I am imagining that I am speaking to an overworked solopreneur who really wants to create content because she wants to grow her audience, but she is just overwhelmed by the whole thing. That is exactly who I'm speaking to right now. And that's what I want you to think about when you create your content, who's the exact right audience member to hear your message. Now, it's very hard because you have a lot of solutions and you want to help everybody, but the more narrow you can be, the better it is for you and for them. Because imagine if those preschool and kindergarten and elementary school teachers had come into that room waiting for a solution designed exactly for them and what they got was a solution that was designed for a feminine CEO. It's just going to miss the mark. And we want your stuff to land because I know how much time and effort you took on it. So the number one thing I want you to walk away with is the saying that my dad used to say to me all the time. He used to say, Jenny, there's an ass for every seat. And there's a lot of ways to interpret it, but he meant it as, don't worry, honey, someday you'll get married. This is what he used to say this to me back in my 20s when he was concerned that I wasn't ever going to get married. 
And I was like, right, there's an ass for every seat, but we want the right asses in our seats because we're taking our time and energy to create content. I hope this is helpful for you. And I would love to hear who exactly are the butts you want in the seats when you're speaking or you're writing or you're publishing a blog. Whose eyes do you want on your stuff? Drop a note below and let me know who is your exact right audience member. For me, it's a woman who's in the middle of her business, but it feels swirly and overwhelming to create content, even though she knows she should be creating content for her audience. So I'm here to help make that a little bit easier for you. And I'm hoping that's what we do in these Facebook lives. Thanks for stopping by today. Have a great rest of your day. Bye.